Okay, here's drinking robot type 2. That was the type 1 one, but I've added uh, legs to it so it can stand. And the inspiration toy, of course, the original Japanese 1960s drinking bear, which was sold in different forms. It wasn't always a bear, it could be a rabbit, it could be a, a person, it could be. They put it in all kinds of different shapes. But uh, this particular type 2 one, I based on a different drinking toy from the early years, the vintage years, called Jocko the Drinking Monkey. And Jocko, instead of, well, let's go back to type 1. The type 1 one, the water is in the cup and it goes through a hose and circulates back to the bottle. So every time the cup is raised, it just follows the gravity down to the bottle, and then when the bottle tips, it fills the cup again to make it look like it's drinking. That's the same way the bear works. But Jocko actually dumps the water into the head, <clears throat> then the head trickles it back down to the bottle. <clears throat> so, if I can find the switch... And I can see I'm going to have to get a different angle so that you can probably see the water actually going in the head. Maybe this way. Add a little bit more light, maybe. How's that? So you can see is on this one. There's no tube or anything in the back. And we can reach the on-off switch here. So let's stop him for a minute. And this was the uh, Type 1 one. As you can see on Type 1, there is a big tube that goes in the back. It goes from the cup to the bottle. Same thing happens in the bear. They just cover it with fur so you can't uh, see the tube. So it pours all the water in, it tends to drink it. In reality, the water is supposed to chase around the tube to the back. And it fills her up again. And you say that type one was based on the, uh, the drinking bear toy. So, there you have it. Prototype 1, Prototype 2, and the original one. So let's just call this guy uh, Jocko the Drinking Robot, since it's uh, the same design as the Jocko toy was. So if you look down in the uh, mouth area here, let's get Jocko closer. The water just goes down, this trough in the back, there's a little tube right there. The entire arm and bottle are all 3D printed as one piece so they're watertight. So that tube in Jocko only is an inch and a quarter long. That's like 30 millimeters because it doesn't need to go any further than here. It does need to be flexible since the arm moves there but it doesn't have to go any further than that. Once it dumps it in the arm it completes the route going through there. So you've got like an inch and a half of tubing whereas of course on this guy You've got a boatload of tubing because it goes all the way around and back to the bottle. Quite a bit of tubing, which uh, isn't good. Of course, the same thing's true in the bear. The uh, tube starts clear at the cup, goes through the arm, actually goes much lower. They By the cloth, they make it look like shoulders are up here and hinge points are actually way down here. Tube comes all the way around and connects back to there, so a long tube. So if this is something that you might want to make, um, let's see if this video can get uh, 100 likes and maybe 100 new subscribers. If it can, then I'll go ahead and put in all the work that it takes to shoot a build video and upload all the files to Thingiverse.